These are the standard Kinex gear parts. You have a large yellow gear, a medium sized red gear, and a small blue gear. The large yellow gear and the small blue gear mesh together at a distance of one blue rod, and the red gear and the small blue gear uh, mesh together at a distance of a green rod. And this can allow you to have different gear ratios in your Kinex mechanism or model. Additionally, the red medium-sized gear meshes over a white rod, or in this case silver rod, distance. So if I place this on top here, you can see that that turns at a one-to-one -one ratio. And if I lock these in with these micro connects here, about here, then you can see that you can combine gears to do different ratios, which is fun. However, the ratio between the yellow gear and the blue gear and the red gear and the blue gear are not nice fractions, like one half or a third or a fourth. So I modeled and 3D printed some Kinex gears that have uh, more exact gear ratios. So first of all, for doing the tight spacing between green rod, you have a one, new one-to-one -one gear. These blue gears here, they're one-to-one. -one. So every turn of this one is the same as the turn of this one. And then you have this white gear here with a small red gear. And this is a two-to-one ratio. So the number of teeth on this white gear is twice as many as the number of teeth in the small red gear. So with this, you can see that as I turn this yellow handle, I get two turns out of the blue handle and vice versa. In addition to this mechanism and these gears, I also created a worm gear that works with Kinex using the red gear as the worm wheel. So this blue gear down here is a worm gear. So if I turn this handle, I get the, um, the handle connected to the red gear to turn very slowly. Additionally, I also created a rack and pinion uh, piece, just the rack, and the pinion being a normal red gear. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my presentation of my Kinex 3D printed gears. I hope that they were interesting and informative. And if you like building with Kinex and you want to make cool mechanisms and use different gear parts, feel free to download the files at the link in the description and print them yourself. I'd be curious to hear feedback as to how they work for you and any ways to improve them.